G'day crew, if you're new to our channel, I'm Adam. And I'm Kira. We're travelling the big lab around and about Australia in our caravan with our Kelpie dog, Reef. Can't wait to share the adventures with you. G'day crew, we're hitting the road and heading to Noosa on this episode, but first we have a quick stopover, so stick around. As soon as we arrived, Reef made the most of the sunshine while we parked up at camp. If you are self-contained, this is a convenient base right next to Parkland and a short drive to town. Unfortunately, the rain rolled in for the remainder of our stay. Lake Alford is right next door and is abundant with bird life and is perfect for morning and sunset walks. There's also a cafe and gold mining museum here as well. Definitely duck weather. This is definitely not what you want to find, but it is the answer for our power issues. So a bit of fault finding, and I found this waterlogged RCD kept tripping out. So it was a quick drive to find an RCD to replace the waterlogged one, and a fresh bit of silicon all the way around, and it was good to go. So it was a nice easy fix, and now I'm off to the Woodwork Museum. If you're driving through Gympie, definitely check out this spot. It's a small fee of $10, but the amount of information and things on display, it was a bargain. You'll learn about the history of Gympie through the logging and forest industry, and it also shows the process the logging companies go through to re-establish the forest after it's been harvested. This cross-section of North Queensland pine was cut in 1939, and they estimate the tree to be 690 years old. It was interesting to have the world events over the past six centuries written next to the growth rings as markers when the tree was still alive during those times. This was one of my favourite rooms with all the different types of chainsaws on display which then leads you into an underground gold mine. Because gold was a huge part of Gympie's history, the mine shows the important part timber played like in props to help prevent cave-ins and all the timber that was used as fuel powering equipment. The outside section of the museum was fascinating with this steam driven sawmill of a small timber mill that you would expect to see back in the 1870s to 1920s. Handy tip if you're thinking of heading here make sure it's on a Friday as they have live demonstrations showing all these machines at work. They do have write ups on each machine giving all the information you need if you don't have the luxury of making it here on Friday like I did. Despite the weather being drizzly, we took a scenic drive out to Amamore. There's also the option to take a ride on the Mary Valley Rattler steam train here, but tickets were sold out at the time of our visit, which is such a shame to miss out as they do let dogs on board too. The nearby lookout we wouldn't recommend as it was pretty overgrown and there was nothing much to see here. It was still a nice drive out in the countryside though. After hitching up, we couldn't miss an opportunity to get a shot driving by a fellow manta ray caravan owner. See ya. <laughs> you ready? 
hit the road. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Let's get to Noosa. <laughs> Looking forward to hitting the coast again, but decided to stop in at Kuroi for a quick bite. Being on your best behaviour for some reason. <laughs> Wonder why. <laughs> We've just rocked up in Noosa. We're just setting up. He's still Likewise. working. But I have to show you something out here. It's not you. It's what I hope is going to be open later. Mm. Yes, please. Got roof bed out for him to not use, as usual. neighbours yet. Finally going to go in your bed. <laughs> a toy, it's your bed. <laughs> it's not a toy. Lay on it. Sit on it. I think that's just going to make him want to attack it more. <laughs> <laughs> Stop fighting. Love it. Don't fight it. Finally using it. Sort of. Good boy. Good boy in his bed. It's <laughs> not what you do, rat bag. But also get it. <laughs> Later. Seeing it was such a short walk, we thought we deserved a special treat like these wood fire pizzas, and they were delicious. We found a small secluded part in the caravan park for Reef to burn off some steam and Adam could also burn off that pizza from the night before. So we've woken up and we're going to go down to the Imundi markets. And this is my hair dryer on the road. Good old Sirocco fan. And this is my microwave. <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you mean to say? Microphone. Oh. <laughs> microphone. And this is my microphone. Okay. <laughs> Good one. That's staying in now. <laughs> this is a hack. Caravan life hack. Next minute, I'm gonna watch the footage. It's just gonna be your smile. <laughs> Oh, you want on you? Apparently these markets are one of the best and biggest in Australia, so we took a quick drive to check them out. after we left of course just around the corner from where we paid nine dollars yeah, so yep. <laughs> hopefully it goes to a good cause in the community yeah <laughs> but yeah we don't know anyway they run it pretty efficiently the little parking section they're yeah. pretty hardcore i think they were ex-cops yeah <laughs> but um yeah anyway good market we got some donut bites yeah. fresh juice super dog friendly as well there's yeah. lots of pooches around the joint yeah and like live music all sorts of stuff so yeah definitely recommend heading to those markets
Next up, we detoured down the Sunshine Coast to see what we could find. Unfortunately, it was super busy and there was either no parking or no dogs allowed at most of the stops, so we called into a little park for a rest. After a short play, it was time to make our way back north toward camp. We drove past the big pineapple, but our timing was off as it was closed for restoration. Let me be right by your side, cause I know that this is right. Don't be shy, just get to know me. We can take this somewhere else, you and me can find ourselves. Stop pretending we are lonely. So it was time to check out some of the beautiful beaches in Noosa and take Reef for a quick dip. Go in the car and we'll go see something. Ready to go see some plants, Reef? <laughs> go pee on some trees. So we're off to Nisa Botanical Gardens today. Yeah, Reef's going out the door. <laughs> He's, who's driving, mate? Don't worry, folks, I grabbed the keys off Reef before he could take the car to another dog beach. So if you haven't figured it out by now, we're a couple of green thumbs and we love to explore a good garden. This place was huge. If you arrive in the morning, watch out for spiderwebs. And as the day warmed up, we also saw a snake. Should we leave them alone? Bit of privacy. This angle, it looks like they're macking on. Isn't that the point? getting lost in each other's eyes. Mm. Like what we do every night. We're going to space. <laughs> 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 We love this place and it was dog friendly. With heaps of drink stations and dog bowls, it's worth taking a photo of the maps as there's plenty of walk trails to wander through. What are these? Elephant apple. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. It was cool to see a different variety of plants to what we're used to back home in WA, like the tropical ferns and all the fruit trees. It's no surprise they do weddings here with beautiful backdrops like this.
the sun is shining and it's a beautiful day to pop down to the riverfront in Nooseville. We heard about this big guy and just had to grab a selfie before strolling along the boardwalk and popping into one of the many cafes along here. Sections of Noosa are in a national park, so Reef was stuck backseat driving, but it's definitely worth a visit to see the beautiful coastal walks, restaurants and boutique shopping precinct. After Reef being so patient in the car, we headed straight to the nearest dog beach for another day relaxing in the sun. And this is our second dog beach called Castaways. Guy fishing. What's he doing? Noosa is a beautiful location and we loved our time here. We'd happily come back, though probably we'll try without reef and maybe staying in an apartment down closer to the water next time. We'll see you next time when we're exploring around and about. Thanks for watching guys.